Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Anya. I know I have a bunch of new subscribers, so I am excited that you're here watching this video with me. I do want to let you know really quick before we get into anything that I have a giveaway going on. So if you're interested in that, I will leave the details down below with the link and all of that. So today's video is going to be three looks, one palette using the Kathleen Light Dream Street palette. I used every color in this palette between the three looks. I did also film the fallout and things like that so that you guys could actually see what the product does and how it actually performs. I only do my eye makeup in the video. The first shot you're gonna see is me apply the primer and base color. I did it the same way in each three of the looks so I didn't want to repeat myself three times. I only show you how to do the eyes. My face makeup is kind of how I always do it so I didn't want to bore you with that. So I hope you guys enjoy the video of the three looks. Please excuse my voice as I'm feeling a little bit under the weather, but this is the first tutorial that I'm doing. I wore this look in the Kathleen Lights palette review, and I actually got a request to do a tutorial on it, so that's what I did for you guys. And I'm also showing you this step one time because I do it in every single tutorial. I just primed my eyes using the Urban Decay Primer Potion and then set it down using the Wet n Wild Creme Brulee Single Eyeshadow. Now taking the shade Moody, I'm going to go ahead and just highlight my brow bones very lightly. And then I'm going to take the shade Magical and start working on my transition. I'm actually applying this very, very lightly just towards the top of my brow. And then I'm going to go back into the shade Magical with a more dense brush and try to carve out my transition and my crease. Now going into the shade Shooting Star, I'm going to go ahead and apply this in my crease to try to deepen up my crease just a little bit. I like this color. It's more of a cool tone beige, but it looks really pretty to create a shadow. Now I'm going to go into the shade Elfish and deepen out the outer corner of my eyes. And I'm also bringing this just underneath the crease color that I put down, the Shooting Star color. But I'm really trying to build it up on the outer edge. If you watch my review video, you'll know that some of the shades are easily blended away. This is one of the shades. Elfish is one of the shades that is easily blended away. So you'll see how many times I actually have to reapply. Now I'm going to take the shade Potion, which is one of my favorites, and deepen up my crease just a little bit more. Now I'm just taking a clean brush and blending it all together. Now going back into Mooney, I'm going to reapply it to just the arch of my brow, just more intensely. Then I'm going to take Twinkle on a wet finger and I'm going to go ahead and apply that to my lids. And then just use this brush to blend out any harsh edges that I have. This is such a pretty color but it has a ton of fallout. Now going back into Elfish, I'm going to go ahead and try to deepen up my the outer edge of my eye just a little bit more. Now I'm going to show you all the fallout that I got from those shades. It's a lot. Now I'm going to tightline using this NYX pencil. I'm going to go back into the shade Elfish and try to smudge out the pencil that I just put down on my lower lash line. And then I'm going to go into shooting star and sh sort of smudge that part out as well, just so it looks more cohesive. And then I apply mascara and that is it. So I really wanted to use the reddish tone shades in the palette. So this is the look that I came up with using more of the reddish shades. I'm going to start this by using Magical on a fluffy brush and applying this as my transition shade very lightly just towards my brow bone. Now going into the shade Shooting Star, I'm going to apply this deeper in my crease with a little bit more pressure to make a sort of shadow with it. Now, using the shade Spark, which I find to be a very unique shade in this palette, I'm going to apply this to my lids, and I'm taking this about halfway, just over halfway, on my lids. Now, going into the shade Elfish, I'm going to deepen up the outer corners of my eye. If you want a much deeper outer edge, you need to apply a base with this color. Now, taking the shade Potion, I'm going to blend out the two shades that I just put down and make the crease more seamless. This is a really good shade to meld those two colors together, the Spark and the Elfish. 
Now to build up that outer corner just a little bit more, I'm going to reapply Elfish to where I applied it before just to deepen it up since I blended some of it away. Now going into the shade Magical, I'm just going to blend out the shade Potion, make it more seamless as a transition. Now I'm going to go into the shade Moony and apply it to my arch as a brow bone highlight. Then taking Kaleidoscope on my finger, I'm just going to apply it over the shade Spark. You can leave it without doing this step, but I wanted to create a little more of a subtle look. Then I go back into the shade Spark and just apply it to the outer third of my eye to sort of blend those three shades together, the Kaleidoscope, Spark, and Elfish. Now for my lower lash line, I'm going to take Spark and apply this close to my lower lash line. Then I'm going to go into the shade Potion and blend out that shade just so it's not such a harsh line under there. Then I'm going to take Shooting Star and blend out the two shades that I previously put down. Now on a very small thin brush, I'm going to take the shade Elfish and line very close to my lash line just to deepen up my under eyes. And then I'm going to take this NYX pencil and tight line with it. Then I'm going to take a pencil shaped brush and smudge out the eyeliner that I put down. And then I'm going to apply some mascara as per the usual. Then for my inner corner highlight, I'm going to take the shade Kaleidoscope and just apply it to my inner corners and going a little bit onto my lid with it. Then I'm going to take the shade Sweet Dream and highlight the very arch of my brow bone. Such a pretty color. And that is it. That's it for the look. And the last tutorial is this more bold, sort of grungy teal eye that I came up with. I'm going to take the shade Magical to start and apply this very lightly for my transition shade. And I'm applying this a little closer to my brow bone. Now I'm going to take the shade Shooting Star and deepen up my crease. And I'm using a pencil brush to make this a little bit more precise. Now I'm going to go in lightly with the shade Elfish and deepen up my crease even more. I want my crease a little bit more defined with this look. And then for the deeper shades to be applied on top of, I'm going to use a base of the NYX Jumbo Pencil in the color Cobalt. If I were to do this look again, I would actually apply this to my entire lid and not just the outer corners. Now I'm going to take the shade Water Bearer and apply that over top of the shade Cobalt, the base that I just put down. Now I'm going to go into the shade Mermaid Boy and apply that with my finger all over the lid. And you'll see some of the patchiness with this shade. I wish I would have put down a base all over my lid so that patchiness would have been prevented. But I didn't. Now you guys will learn from my mistake. Now I'm going to go back into the shade Water Bearer and sort of blend out the edges. And then I take that Water Bearer out as like a V just a little bit more because I didn't like the rounded look. And then I'm going to take the shade Elfish and just blend out the edges of what I just did. This look actually requires a lot of blending, so I'm going to take the shade Shooting Star and I'm just going to blend out the shade Elfish and the teals that we used earlier just to make a more cohesive look. And I'm going to take the shade Mermaid Boy and reapply it to my lid and there's still patchiness, so definitely make sure you put down a base. Then I'm going to take the shade Magical and just work that in my transition to make sure everything's very seamless. This is one of those looks that looks kind of crazy until it's all done, so just stick with it. Take your time. It'll all work out in the end. Now I'm going to take the shade Mooney and highlight my brow bone. I'm going to go back in with a brush with Magical on it and just blend it all together. Showing you the fallout here from all the colors that we used. 
After wiping away the fallout and putting my foundation on, I'm going to tight line using my Maybelline Skinny Pencil. It's my favorite. I had to bring it back because it's amazing. And then for my lower lash line, I'm going to take the shade Water Bearer and smudge out the eyeliner that I just put down. And to blend out the shade Water Bearer, I'm going to take the shade Elfish just to the outer edges, just to deepen it up a little bit and make it a little bit more of a gradient. And then I take my eyeliner again and just smudge it out even more just to deepen up the lower lash line. Now I'm going to take the shade Magical and smudge out the edges just to make it a little bit more seamless. I apply some mascara and some falsies because I felt like this look needed some falsies. Then just to add a little bit of something, I'm going to take the shade Stardust to my lower lash line and just add it towards the inner corner. And then I'm going to take the shade Mooney and apply it as my inner corner highlight. And that is it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I love this look. I love how grungy it is. I think it would be really cool with a very high tight pony or something. It was freezing in my house when I filmed this, so that's why I have a sweatshirt on. But um, I think this is a really cool look anyways. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the looks and the tutorials. Leave me a comment down below letting me know which look was your favorite. If you do recreate one of the looks, please tag me on Instagram or Twitter or wherever you post it so I can see it. I love interacting with you. The first look that I did was actually requested from a previous video, so I'm glad that I was able to recreate it for you guys. If you did like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you check out my giveaway, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.